Hey there, welcome back to episode 38 of Critzy Bear's Toy Reviews. Uh, today's episode is uh, Marshall and Dora the Explorer Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup Roguelike Dungeon Escape uh, Helicopter Chase Attack uh, Dead. They die. They die in this episode. The end. Yeah. Let's play, play pretend with their toys. Uh huh. You know. You know, I'm just gonna take a break here from this PSA just to just ask, why the fuck are there so many grown ass people playing with toys on YouTube? Let me ask you that. You know, I get people who like film their kids reacting to you know toys, you know, you know, and and kids like that. I remember being a kid and I was like, dude, that toy's awesome. But now you just got uh, grown people make making up stories with their toys. Do kids like that? Do kids like that? Do do kids like watching grown men play pretend with with toys? Like they aren't even explaining like like I saw I saw Blippy on the internet. That one's pretty okay. He's pretty okay. He pl he plays with toys and stuff, but he like explains things in an educational manner. That's acceptable. But what's with all these what's with all these people ha having their toys vomit all over? What's up with that? Let's let's get off this topic. Hey, welcome, Rogue Lake Roulette. Uh, it's Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. This is number nineteen on the list. Uh, it's the Rogue Lake Roulette, Rogue 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 Roulette, everybody. And look, look at today. It's um, it's only uh, it's only seven in the evening, which gives me plenty of time tonight to play more games. So, actually, don't know if I'm going to be starting Dungeon Sprint or Dungeon Crawl here. Because it is intended to be a short game. Ah, oh, whatever. <clears throat> I have enough time for a bit of a longer episode. They never last more than, like, an hour. Uh, but if it, it does, then I don't know what we're going to do with this. It's going to be a two, two-parter. We'll take that risk. So, um... I either want to start a... Sorry, um... I was just pondering what I want to start. Okay, so Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, if you're somehow not familiar, is a game in which, uh, it's a pretty old one, in which you craw crawl around a dungeon. Uh, there is nothing to do with stone, stone Soup, though. There's nothing to do with that. I do not know the reasoning behind the name, but it's, it's, uh, we'll just have to accept it for what it is. Um, <clears throat> basically, uh, you, it's just, you know, a basic dungeon crawler, but it's a classic one, and it's a really good one, so... Yeah, I have st I've played this game for for like years and I still haven't even gotten my first rune, which is humiliating uh but you know, yeah, it is what it is. I still haven't beaten Tales of Majael either or its expansions uh cuz cuz I get so distracted by seeing new things. Yeah, anyway, so I'm not sure uh not sure actually who I want to play here. I either want to uh play a artifice or artificer or um some kind of wizard or an assassin, maybe. <sighs> you know, something that takes strategy, something that isn't just a uh, Grok the Barbarian running in and murdering everyone. Could play a Hill Orc Priest. Hmm. It's a ran random, uh, random species. Random species, uh, human. Great, thanks for narrowing the choices for me here, game. Giving me a fucking human. It's okay. It's okay. Um. Oh, jeez. How about uh, wanderer? Human wanderer. There we go. That's not gonna bite me in the ass. Basically, a wanderer. Uh, if you're not familiar, uh, starts with random skills and equipment. What do we have? We have a mace, a robe, and a spell book. Uh, what's it have in it? Infusion and sp spectral weapon. Hmm. All right. Uh, spectral weapon. Does that require a weapon to? Or is that the one where you uh, draw the spirit out of a wielded weapon, uh, so it just clones my weapon? Uh, I'm only texting. Yeah, I, I guess it's just it, it gives me a sp spooky weapon. Okay, so I guess we're some kind of scald here, just with a less formal training. Uh, and uh, no, no throwing, thank you. Armor and dodging. And uh, no stealth, uh, however, spellcasting, yes. So I'm going to go here for a sort of a dodging-based warrior, 
with uh, magical skills. That's uh, I can't actually memorize any spells. So I'm gonna have to wait until my spellcasting goes up. So there's our first first blood, uh, poor Hobgoblin who's just patrolling his home. And uh, yeah, we 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 actually got a pretty good start, all things considered. You know, a, a human wanderer. That's that's pretty pretty okay. However, uh, don't get fucked on the first few turns because I'm already like almost dead. Uh, drink potion. Try no, oh my God. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to pull this one off because uh, I guess I can just dance around until I regenerate health. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh jeez, I made a wrong turn there. I was trying to dance around that pillar. Uh, however, ended up a uh, scroll of recharging. No, a uh, scroll of noise. No. Oh well. Oh, there you go. Human wanderer again. Uh. Human, no, 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 not human fighter, human wanderer. There you have it there, uh, buddies. This is why Dungeon Crawl doesn't take too long, uh, usually. Uh, let's see, we have crossbow and ring mail, or some kind of uh, Arl Bester. Uh, armor, uh, stealth, spellcasting. We do not have a spell book, though, so let's take skills out of that. Uh, I guess we are a, we're a crossbow man. Okay. Oh, wait, we do have a spell book. Ooh, what do... Oh, we have a standard spellbook. We have a uh, wizardry tome. Okay. All right, so we're some kind of crossbow wizard here. Uh, dodging crossbows, uh, spellcasting. Uh, what do we have? Uh, I guess I'm going to wait until I get enough spellcasting to pick up Blink there. And we're going to be some kind of blinking, blinking crossbow guy. Yeah. Shoot that goblin shoot shoot him shoot him dead Sh shoot shoot them both dead yeah shoot that rat dead let's pick up this guy's dagger too um god dang it one two yeah we've already lost uh no okay i thought we lost five arrows but never mind we picked them up somewhere yeah so basically wanderer starts with random equipment and uh and uh skill proficiencies and stuff um there's no benefit to starting a character like this i don't believe and I stepped into a teleport trap. That's okay, though. And we have lost our first bolt. Our first bolt is gone. Yeah. So this is a this is this is a, a, cl a click stuff and kill die. You know, early game not much strategy to go on. Uh, eventually, you get lots of stuff that you can manage and everything, but it's it's not a very commentary friendly game really. It's more like a you know, something that you only ever watch if you're already a fan of the game. So uh, forgive me if you're watching this to discover new roguelikes, because this is a pretty old one. Um, honestly, I feel like uh, Dungeon Sprint gives better commentary. So if we uh, if we die here, I think I'm going to play a Dungeon Sprint uh, or two, just to, you know, speed things up a little. Hey, more bolts! Those ain't mine. Uh, I can't even hit a gecko point blank there we go uh we got lots of people in this room oh fuck oh jesus uh what's this potion well i'm fast yes okay it was a potion of haste so that was very useful in this situation because i was going to get fucked by by two goblins and a and a, and a thing yeah rest now rest now my child we're almost done with level one here. Hey, level three. I didn't notice uh, dexterity, obviously. And now we can memorize uh, blink. However, uh, it's going to take a while to uh, to to get that. And probably slow. And mephitic cloud. And once we get higher level, we're going to learn conjure flame. So basically, what I have here is I have a spell that will teleport me around. A spell that will slow people. A spell that's going to confuse the fuck out of people. And then... Uh, uh, eventually, we're going to have a spell that uh, conjures a barrier between me and people. So basically, I've got a big old repertoire of magic that'll that'll uh, help me be an archer here. Uh, it's something different than the arcane archer, who basically uh, focuses on making his archery better. Here we're going to focus on making our archery easier, I guess. Uh, so spellcasting... Wait, 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 wait. Am I on manual or... Oh, shoot! I wasn't on manual. Okay. Uh, armor, con uh, spells. Uh, I guess we're going to 
give our magic a whole lot of pumps here. Hexes, conjurations, translocations, everything. We got all our magic enabled. Um, we don't really need fighting, do we? Because we got the crossbows. We'll see. Uh, dodging, of course. Uh, crossbows. Okay, so we've got crossbows, armor, and dodging, and a whole lot of uh, spellcasting skills. The reason I'm focusing on... Uh, not not focusing. Now we're focusing on armor and spellcasting. The reason I'm focusing on armor and spellcasting is because... Uh, it is imperative to my survival here that I learn how to cast these spells quickly, uh, probably. Because once you get past level 3, this crossbow ain't going to do shit unless I have something to back it up with. Um, because, uh, yeah, the, the reason that we need to focus on those skills is because uh, we will not be able to uh, cast any spells if we're wearing this ring mail and... and uh, have low expertise in spellcasting. So as you can see here, next to a Mephitic Cloud... Also, I'm sorry that my inventory is cut off. The um, screen doesn't have a very, very, very uh, YouTube-friendly resolution. Anyway, so Mephitic Cloud, uh, as you can see, it has a little 99% uh, mark by it. Yeah, that's 99% uh, to fail. And our lowest spell, Blink, has an 87% chance to fail, which is marginally better, but still nothing I want to bet on. Someone's been looting things over here. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, and there's a kobold. One of these mobs probably has gold in it. Uh, oh, I'm done exploring this level. Okay, so on to level two. And uh, we're gonna have to find something to eat in a minute, because I'm getting hungry. Um, yeah, so focusing on our spellcasting and armor. What's our, what's our skill here? We're not even nearly leveled up in spellcasting and have gained no skill in any of these. Wait, actually, we've gained 0.2 in hexes and poison magic. Okay, it's going to be a long road, but eventually we're going to fight uh, bigger enemies and they're going to be easier to uh, gain experience on. Like, a single high-ranking enemy is uh, enough to give you, like, three levels in a single skill. Hey! Jackal. Jackal meat is healthy now, apparently. It's been a while since I've played... Uh... Sorry, I got an error about how I was going to attack with my crossbow, which it will only accept... Oh my god, Robin! Oh, fuck. Okay, get... Oh, no! Oh, no, he has frost magic. All right, so... This is our friend Robin who has a posse of, like, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, it's, it, Robin's basically just a tough goblin who spawns with a whole lot of goblin friends. Also, he carries wands and stuff. Um, a mountain hobgoblin recently come in search of a legendary orb. Not foolhardy or reckless enough to delve into the depths of the dungeon alone, Robin has built a small army of minions. Potential competitors will quickly find a stream of screaming goblins flying towards them. Oh, no. So it's not that he's like this psychopathic war leader, it's that he's, he's, a, he's a treasure hunter, just like me. Uh, stroll of Identify, that's not too bad. I didn't waste a turn here. Um, scroll of uh, Uncursing. Oh, Jesus. Uh, scroll of Immolation, not necessarily a good thing here. Uh, fuck. Uh, identify scroll of enchantment uh, and let's use one on a potion oh yes potion of heal wounds good 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 uh maybe we are going to have to take off our armor y yes keep disrobing uh shoot i'm gonna die here aren't i no i didn't no i didn't drink my potion all right so now that i've disrobed blink only has a 38% chance of fucking up. Let's use our scroll of immolation and fuck off. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. And yes! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Dude. Yes, yeah, so if you if you need a play-by-play -play there, I got trapped uh, because Robin, like, froze me for a turn or something, and uh, goblins circled around and, and pushed me into the doorway, and... Uh, they started surrounding me and beating me with their clubs and blunt daggers and stuff. And I was like, oh shit, I better take off this ring mail. So I just kind of let it fall onto the floor and showed them all my drunk, my junk. And then, uh, 
act, uh, filled their blood with fire and teleported away using my newly freed hands, and uh, and and now they're all exploding. Look at all those levels. Oh fuck! But these ones did not explode. Yeah, so pr pretty much like more than half of the goblins are dead now. Uh, these ones are still immolated. Uh, fuck. Uh, is Robin dead? Yes, Robin is dead somewhere. And now these two are no longer a problem because I can just take care of them. They do not have any fire uh, in their blood. There, 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 we're all done. We fin finished this encounter, and we got lots of goblin meat. Yeah! Uh, did we pick up any, like, wands or anything? Where's, uh... Where's our friend, our, our friend Robin? How many bolts do we have? Forty. Okay, I thought that was ten, maybe. Hey, Robin's club. Uh, let's uh, choose that over our dagger and a helmet. Yep. And now put put our ring mail back on. And Blink has an eighty-five percent chance. Slow actually has a seventy-five percent chance. Okay. Oh, hey, you you Skyavwa. That's that's one of the new guys or whatever. What's uh? You you you. Uskaway. Usk Uskaya? Cool. Uh, I think that's uh Uskaya the revolver appears to be a hollow uh, it appears to be hollow and covered in hide, giving a resonant surface. Uh carvings on the side depict grouped figures. I actually don't know what he does. Is he the one who just wants you to kill things? Uh Uskaya the Reve reveler, okay. Is the god of ec ecstatic dance. Okay. We got the Crypt of the Necrodancer guy here, yeah. Ah, uh, anyway, Yusuke uh, appreciates many forms of worship, uh, but in the dungeon, most worshippers stick to the dance of combat. Yusuke uh, appreciates the passion of rhythm and combat, passion and rhythm of combat, rewarding followers with for each strike they deliver, for the damage they deal to their forms. The longer the dance continues, the greater powers Uskia offers. When the dance ends, Uskia quickly loses interest. Okay, so I guess he's some kind of like combo system here. He does. It seems like he doesn't give permanent piety. From what I'm reading here, he um. He gives uh, piety based on how well you're doing in the fight, maybe. Uh, stomp with the beat. Pass through a line of other dancers. Uskia will force your foes to helplessly watch you dance. Oh boy. Uh, will force your foes to share their pain, merge and... Merge with and destroy a victim? Fucking merge with them? What kind of dance? Holy cow. Yeah, this is pretty cool, but this seems like a more of a dexterity fighter thing um, rather than a uh, wizardy... Archer here. Yeah, Kobold dead. Maybe I should downgrade to the leather for a while. Maybe. I don't know. Let's not think about it. Let's keep going. Oh, Rat Cave, it would seem. No? No, no, just a single. Two, two rats. It's not a rat cave. Oh, it's a altar of Ashenzari, which is the god of curses and divination, I believe. All of. All of the divination spells were moved to his worship, I believe. And I don't like that. I liked divination. Thank you very much, but you know, things change. Oh, and snake, which I accidentally stepped towards. Yes! I got him to walk into the teleport trap, which didn't put him very far away at all. Great. Great, great, great. Okay, I got him. Don't need to worry. Snakes can be dangerous. With their with their fangs and poison and stuff. Uh, qua qua, qua qua qua. Oh, cobalt and javelins. Cool. To bet I'm not throwing things. Oh, e Eeb. I have no idea how to say that. That's basically just a really tough goblin who can sometimes carry uh carry wands and stuff. All right. Oh, I got a ring too. I'll have to wear that eventually, but not right now. Because we are working on killing Eve here. Please don't waste all of my arrows on him. Uh, come on. I should have been keeping count. How many arrows am I missing? 20? Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, let's see. Uh, let's see, 36 arrows. So we only lost 4 in that fight. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot a worm! Go away, worm! Okay, worms. Worms can hit very hard. Which is why I was concerned. Uh, 
Maybe I should enchant my cross. Yeah, let's enchant. No, let's enchant armor. All right, let's enchant my ring mail. I'm going to keep that for a while, I think. All right, uh, identify that ring. It's a cursed ring of strength, so glad I didn't wear that. We're going to keep it for the point value, though. Uh, potion. Uh, okay, found the potion of cure, which is pretty much all I need to worry about. And what was the other one? Ooh, enchant weapon. Cool, so let's uh, enchant our crossbow. Oh, it's a hand crossbow. Uh, used for firing bolts. Um, yeah, okay. So I guess uh, hand crossbow is one that you can use a shield with or something. Who knows? I'm basically just a medieval hand. Oh, fuck! Fucking Sigmund? No! Oh, no. Oh, Sigmund is a bad one to find down here. Oh, shoot. Oh, uh, and I don't know where, like, any scrolls of fear or fog or anything is. No! He's confusing me. Oh, no, Sigmund, please. Sigmund, please. Do not do this. Oh, and a rat. God dang it. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, fuck, Sigmund's invisible. Oh, no. Uh, drink potion. Uh, hobgoblin, hob hobgoblin hits me. That's okay. That's okay, I can fight a hobgoblin. There's Sigmund! Oh, shoot. Uh, head, head upstairs. Head upstairs, it's okay. Yes, okay. Heading upstairs, regenerate health. And, uh, oh, turn on auto pickup. Uh, turned it off because Sigmund was invisible and it was spooking my character. Let's eat this goblin. Mmm, goblin meat! Scrumptious! Scrum diddly umptious? What is that from? Where's Scrum Diddly Umptious from? Is that from a children's show? Scrum Diddly Umptious... No. Who cares? <laughs> Let's just keep going. Right, and uh, hopefully we can evade Sigmund. Maybe we should take our armor off um, and see how likely it is for me to cast Mephitic Cloud. Not very likely. Maybe I should also uh, get call him. Nah, not right now. Let's focus on other things. We have Conjure Flame now, which uh, again has a 93% chance of failure. Um, hold on a sec. Uh, okay, I just had to make sure. Oh, there's Sigmund again. Fuck him up. Fuck up. Fuck. Come on. He's gonna fuck me up. I know it. I know it. He's gonna fuck me up. Back. Sorry, uh, I had to go in a hurry there. Um, also, I figured out what the word was. It's uh, the Scrum Diddly Umptious. It comes from uh, Big Friendly Giant, uh, the book. Yeah? Oh, also also the movie, uh, the modern movie. I liked that movie. It was pretty good. Yeah. It, it is a children thing, too. Let's wait for Sigmund to get uninvisible. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shoot, he confused me. Oh, fuck! Sigmund's gonna kill me. Please uninvisible yourself. What are these potions? Oh, good, I'm flying. Um, and oh, potion of weakness. God dang it. All right, uh, scrolls, scroll of amnesia. <laughs> no, not what I need. No, blink, blinking, blinking scroll. Uh, that'll buy me a little bit of time. All right, um, random uselessness. And, uh, magic mapping on a floor that I've already completely explored. Alright, alright, alright. Let's just avoid Sigmund. Just avoid him. Don't try to fucking kill him. Try to kill him. Oh, I hit him, but he turned invisible again. Uh, j Jesus Christ, I walked towards him on accident. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. No! No! Do not! Go back up. Heal. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. E eat a pizza. I don't care about how hungry you are. Just eat, eat a whole pizza. God damn it. I'm almost out of bolts. I only got 20. Can't kill Sigmund with that many bolts. And now I have 8. Oh, auto pickup is still off. Okay. Auto pickup. Uh, pick up these bolts. Okay, so still 20. Go down these stairs. We gotta pick up our bolts. Just pick up our bolts and then we're gonna fucking run till we're better. Mm-hmm. Just next floor. 
And there's my ghost. Curtsy charlatan artificer. So that's not really much of a threat because, you know, he's not going to have any artifacts here. Just uh, keep clicking him. God damn it. He is going to be a threat because he's being a fucking ninja here with the martial arts and shit. God dang it. Let's, uh, no, don't attack with the crossbow. Let's pick up this uh, ring, put it on. Oh, good. It's a cursed ring of poison resistance. Oh, no, I can never poison myself now. Ah, uh, yeah, this is our, uh, this is our end here. There's no way out of this unless I uh, blink. I will get very lucky with my 8% chance to cast blink. Nope. Fail and dead. K killed by miscasting blink, not killed by the ghost. I kill. I was killed by the blinking. All right. Dungeon crawl stone soup. Hey, how you like them apples? You like them? I like them. I'll see you later for some door door fortress, probably, maybe. God, if I get time. I mean, I'll probably have time. I don't, I don't much, I don't, I don't feel very good about this episode. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now.